When you make a drawing in AutoCAD, it is designed in some sort of linear measurement. Most of the world uses the metric system, while other places use the imperial system of feet and inches. Now, I'm in the United States, so I typically use feet and inches, so I'm most familiar with those, which you've probably realized by now. now AutoCAD doesn't really know what those units are. It only sees generic units. Drawing units in AutoCAD are relative. It only interprets the units when you go to print your drawings or compare it with other files that you've inserted or referenced. Now it will translate your drawings units to fit the way you tell it to on your paper. Now AutoCAD will take your line work and apply it to a scale factor when it prints. It will take the size of the paper you're printing on and scale your drawing objects accordingly. When you draw, make sure to know what units you are using. Your units can be anything. It can be feet, inches, meters, kilometers, or even parsecs, if you're going to make some kind of space travel map, for an example. But it doesn't matter. What does matter is that you draw to full or real scale and in one unit. AutoCAD can really only draw in one set of units at a time. Now there is a units setting where you can define or at least declare what your drawing's units will be. Now to get to it, type in the word units. Press enter. Now you can also get to this through the application menu. If you click on it and go down to drawing utilities and select and here is the units control button. Pops up the same interface system here. Here you will designate the type of units blocks will be inserted in or other drawings. It also sets up the way your units will be displayed. You can choose from architectural, decimal engineering, fractional, or scientific. Now when you draw with the architectural engineering or fractional settings, AutoCAD is assuming that you're working in inches and will display your units in feet and inches. So it will say, hey, this is five feet, seven inches long. But keep in mind that all of your units are in measurements of inches. So if you type in the number one, it's drawing it at one inch. If you're drawing in the number 12, 12 will be 12 inches long. Yes, it will also be equal to one foot, but AutoCAD will interpret it as 12 units long. Now it's smart enough to know that 12 inches is a foot and will display your object as being one foot zero inches long. And when you're entering in objects to specific lengths for architecture, you can tell it to be two feet zero inches, or you can type in 24 inches. So keep that in mind. Architectural format will display fraction of an inch in fraction form, while the engineering setting displays them in decimals of an inch. Now the other unit settings that we have here can be used to represent any form of measurement. The decimal setting will display your objects in units and decimals. The scientific displays them in scientific notation and fractional will display them as fractions of units, typically inches. So the decimal setting is probably the most common setting for units used in AutoCAD, followed then by architectural setting. It may be the case that you will never use all or more than one of these display settings throughout your career. And that's perfectly fine. So once you have defined your type of length, meaning how is it going to be displayed, you know, architectural, decimal, etc., you have to select your insertion scale. Now the insertion scale will tell AutoCAD exactly what each unit actually represents. And you can see this is a long list. Inches, feet, miles, millimeters, centimeters, meters, kilometers, micro inches, mills, yards, all the way down, as you can see here, to light years and parsecs and even astronomical units. Uh, just a bit of trivia, one astronomical unit is equal to the distance from the Earth to the Sun. So if you're making drawings on that type of a scale, by all means use that. Typically you're going to use probably inches, feet, millimeters, centimeters, and perhaps kilometers. Now, not only do you have to work in measurements of length, but you're going to need to work in angle measurements as well. AutoCAD 2 has a lot of choices for that as well. Now you can display your angles in degree decimals, and that's all controlled here. Degrees, minutes, seconds. Surveyors will often do this. You can display it in gradients, radians, or even survey units. So survey units or degrees, minutes, seconds can be done for surveyors, but you might see them in either format. So if something doesn't look exactly right, take a look at it. Now your precision that you have here for both of these angles and lengths, this shows the precision of how these values will actually be shown to you. So you can go with low precision and 
not display any fractions of your inch at all, or you can go all the way down to 1 256th. And maybe this will give you a better idea. In your decimal format, you can go down to no decimal, or you can go down to about eight or so places past the decimal. Now, the amount of precision is up to you, and it fits your needs. Same thing with the angles. These are degrees, minutes, seconds that you can go into for that. Or if you are in just decimal degrees, this is how many, you know, like 45.45 degrees. So this is just going to depend on what you need. A lot of times two decimal places will be more than enough. Now, for both of these settings though, you need to set the precision on your measurements. It's important though, because it will display in your dimensions when you dimension an object. It'll say it is 12 feet, uh, 0. 0.0000 inches, or whatever that case may be. One of the problems that you have to deal with with AutoCAD is that it is way too precise for a lot of our applications. Now, you can draw much more precisely in AutoCAD than you could ever build for a lot of different things. So keep that in mind, and just because you can draw something in AutoCAD, that doesn't mean that it can be built that way. 